Okay, we've talked about magic, sorcery, also called pharmakia. We've talked about witchcraft. We've talked about wizardry. Now I'm talking about alchemy, and I'll be short about on this. Alchemy is basically changing the substance, the nature of a substance, into something else. For example, if, if there was water in here, and you would change that water into cranberry juice. You see, we humans can do that. You see, however, wizards and also sorcerers, some sorcerers who are deeply involved and in deep relationships with demonic spirits and demonic principalities, they use the power to suck the energy from demonic spirits. They concentrate on the substance and the atoms of the substance begin to change their speed. The coding in those atoms change and the whole nature of the thing changes. So, so they can change, for example, iron can change into gold. That they, with the aid of those fallen angels, they can do it. So, how, so you will see now, Rashid, how is that an illusion? It's an illusion because it's not something natural. So, it did happen, the iron did change into gold, but it gives you an impression as if human beings, by meditating, going to a higher state of consciousness, they will be able to become gods. So, that's the illusion, that's the lie. Anyway, alchemy, you know, is practiced throughout the ancient history, also during the Renaissance, the Middle Ages, and also today, alchemy is practiced. There are kinds of other names for it, but it's alchemy. It's basically sorcery, witchcraft, and wizardry combined. But it is focused upon changing the atoms of an object so that the whole nature of that object changes. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue to the next form of illusion, and that's the night.